welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that the lines of regression of a set of data are x is equal to 0.51y minus 1.12, y is equal to 0.97x plus 7.15, the variance of x is equal to 6.76. Find first part mean value of x and y. Second part, coefficient BYX and BXY. Third part, standard deviation of Y. Fourth part, the value of Y for X is equal to 2. And fifth part, the value of X for Y is equal to 3. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, the two lines of regression intercept in the point x bar y bar that is the mean. Secondly, the regression coefficient of y on x that is b y x is given by the formula r into sigma y over sigma x and the regression coefficient of x on y that is bxy is given by the formula r into sigma x over sigma y where r is the correlation coefficient sigma y is the standard deviation of y and sigma x is the standard deviation of x. And next, for the regression equation, of y on x, that is, y is equal to mx plus c, the regression coefficient of y on x, that is, dx is equal to, the coefficient of x in this equation, let it be equation number 1. So here the coefficient of x in this equation is m. So b by x will be equal to m, that is the coefficient of x in this equation. And for the regression equation, of x on y that is x is equal to my plus c let it be equation number 2 the regression coefficient of x on y that is bxy is equal to the coefficient of y in equation number 2 so here coefficient of y is m so the regression coefficient of x on y is equal to m. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now the equations of the lines of regression are given to us. And in the first part we have to find the mean value of x and y. Now given the equations of the lines of regression are x is equal to 0.51y minus 1.12 and y is equal to 0.97x plus 7.15. Now let us name it as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. Now using the first result which is given in the key idea, since the two lines of regression that are given by equation number 1 and equation number 2 intersect 
in the point x bar y bar that is the means Solving equation number 1 and 2 simultaneously we will obtain the value of x bar that is the mean value of x and y bar that is the mean value of y. Now on solving the given equations we obtain the value of x as 5 and by putting x is equal to 5 in this equation and that is to be equation C we get y is equal to 12 Therefore, on solving 1 and 2 simultaneously, we get x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 12. Therefore, now this is the point of intersection, that is, where x is equal to 5, y is equal to 12. This is a point of intersection of lines 1 and 2, and we also know that the line one and two intersect in the point x bar y bar. That is the means. Therefore, the mean value of x is equal to 5 and the mean value of y is equal to 12. That is, x bar is equal to 5 and y bar is equal to 12. Now we have to find the coefficient bx and bxy. Now this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. Now from 1 we have x is equal to 0 0.51y minus 1.12. Now this is the regression line of x on y. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, the regression coefficient of x on y that is bxy is equal to the coefficient of y in this equation which is equal to 0 0.51. Now from 2 we have y is equal to 0 0.97x plus 7.15. Now this is the regression line of y on x. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, the regression coefficient of y on x that is dyx is equal to coefficient of x in this equation. So this is the coefficient of x. So this will be equal to 0 0.97. Now using these results which are given in the key idea, now BYX is equal to 0 0.97, so this will be equal to by the formula R into sigma Y over sigma X. And BXY is equal to 0 0.51, so this will be equal to R into sigma X over sigma Y. Therefore, BYX into BXY is equal to 0 0.97 into 0 0.51 is equal to R into sigma Y over sigma X into R into sigma X over sigma Y which implies 
dy x into dxy is equal to 0.4947 is equal to r square. Now this implies r square is equal to 0.4947 which further implies r is equal to plus minus 0.7 approximately. Now as dxy and dyx being both positive, therefore R is also positive. Now the value of R depends upon the value of dyx and dxy and if dyx and dxy both are positive then R is also positive. If dyx and dxy both are negative then R is also negative. Therefore R is equal to, now considering the positive value here, so this will be 0 0.7 approximately. Now in the next part we have to find the standard deviation of y and in the question the variance of x is also given to us. So now in the next part the variance of x that is sigma x square is equal to 6.76 therefore sigma x is equal to 2.6 now b y x is equal to 0 0.97 which is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x so now we have r into sigma y over sigma x is equal to 0 0.97 now r is 0 0.7 Sigma x is 2.6, so putting these values here, 0 0.7 into sigma y over 2.6 is equal to 0 0.97. This implies sigma y is equal to 0 0.97 into 2.6 over 0 0.7, which further implies sigma y is equal to 3.6 approximately. Therefore, the standard variation of y is 3.6 approximately. Now we will find the value of y for x is equal to 2. Now, the line of regression of y and x gives the best estimated value of y for the given value of x. So, to get the value of y, we will put x is equal to 9 in equation number 2. Now, putting x is equal to 9 in equation number 2 we get y is equal to 0 0.97 into 9 plus 7.15 which implies y is equal to 8.73 plus 7.15 which is equal to 15.88 therefore for x is equal to 9, we are getting y is equal to 15.88. And now we will find the value of x for y is equal to 3. Now the line of regression of x or y gives the best estimated value of x for a given value of y. So we will put y is equal to 12 in equation number 1 and we will get the value of x. So putting y is equal to 12 in equation number 1, we get x is equal to 0 0.51 into 12 minus 1.12 which is equal to 6.12 minus 1.12 which is equal to 5. Therefore, for y is equal to 12, x is equal to 5. Hence, the mean value of x, that is x bar is equal to 5, 
and mean value of y that is y bar is equal to 12. Then for the second part, the regression coefficient bxy is equal to 0.51 and the regression coefficient byx is equal to 0.97. Then in the third part, the standard deviation of y that is sigma y is equal to 3.6 approximately. Then the next part, for x is equal to 9, y is equal to 15.88. And for the last part, for y is equal to 12, x is equal to 5. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.